Hello guys, it's Copes here, and today I have a Clash Royale video for you. It's just going to be like a typical video, nothing sp too special, except we are going to be opening our first giant chest. Also, I have two more chests we're going to open in this video. So let's get started. We'll open the free chest, and let's see what we get. So, some gems, some gold, uh, no, I don't care for any of those things. But what I am looking for is giants. Um, spear goblins, skeletons, goblin hut. Let's see. I'm going to go to my other troop composition. Hogs for sure. Teslas. And maybe minion hordes. Besides that, an inferno tower to get to level 4. That would be pretty awesome. But I think that's all I'm really going for. Let's open up this crown chest. Okay, we're, st we're stacking up on this gold. Alright. Um... So our bomber, we got times 7. Ooh, minion horde times 10. Not bad. And hog rider, yes, to level 3. Awesome. Let's go level him up before we open this giant chest. So awesome, level 3. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, now time for the giant chest. So you get 160 cards with 16 rares. Let's see what we get. I've never opened one of these. 1,154. Okay, Hog Rider times six. Ah, uh, that it's good, but still. Okay, Valk Valkyrie, I did not want. And Spear Goblins times 144. Level seven, guys. That is awesome. Yes. We did basically throw away all of our gold, but let's upgrade the Valkyrie, even though we're not really going to use her too much. And we're so close to getting to level. Um, Six, let's upgrade the Musketeer to level three. Oh my gosh, we're so close. So let's see, anything else we can upgrade? The only good thing I would say, I mean, Spear Goblins was all right, but I was really hoping to get my Giant to level four. Also, I was hoping to get my Goblin Hut, hut up, but besides that, the Hog and the Spear Goblin was real nice. Let me see. Oh, I can actually donate. So what do I need? I need... Okay, five more XP. So one of these, and we're at level six. Yes, we got it, guys. Level six. So let's see. We get 216 um, plus hit points for our King's Tower, plus five defense or damage. Sorry. And for our Arena Towers, we get 140 plus hit points and five plus damage. So pretty good. I mean, it's just going to be a little bit easier to defend against some of these rushes. But besides that, let's get into these attacks. For this first attack, it's against a level 7. So, I mean, I know some people might make like the observation that if you're a level 7 and you're still in Arena 4, you might not be the best attacker. But still, guys, it's not that easy to, get, to attack against someone who has higher level troops. So basically, I he does the same thing as me. We both drop our giants, but since I didn't have a giant giant to drop in the beginning, I ended up dropping a skeleton, which was one X elixir. Which I mean, it's a little bit of a waste, but you know what? It's um it's worth it in the long run. But right there, the musketeer is still alive by one like one hit point, and that that really hurt me. I I think my giant could have done a little bit of damage to that building, and this wizard. Something I really want to at least try out, but yeah, he takes out most of my guys. Honestly, during this um, battle, he's not much of a threat, so I don't worry too much about him. And right here, I throw the arrows, which was pretty helpful, honestly. They probably would have done a lot more damage. And then he drops the knight, and I'm able to stop him with... Oh my goblins, I have so many goblins. He has arrows or um, a fireball, so... I noticed that pretty early in the raid, and or in the battle, sorry, oh, <laughs> Clash of Clans on the mind, but I noticed that pretty early in the battle, and I knew I could drop all my, all my goblins in like a small area, and the only thing I would really have to worry about would be his wizard. That's the only real threat. So once he drops that wizard, <clears throat> I have like free reign to just demolish him. Right there, he goes for the little single hog rush he probably would have been able to do a lot more damage if i didn't drop my minions and over on the left side i'm doing so much damage because 
he doesn't have these like group troops and I may I have all my group troops and I'm just demolishing him he drops that wizard but then my baby dragon is able to take him out at this point I was just gonna try to play some defense and I was actually waiting to see what he did next so then I drop my witch behind and then my skeletons in front one of my favorite things to do I, I would say and then I just drop a big group and then throw my arrows so right now I have minions, spear goblins, baby dragon skeletons, and a witch. And I just dropped some more skeletons because, look, right now, I knew he could not throw anything. He couldn't shoot me with arrows or a fireball, and I was able to win. And um, at this point, I'm laughing in his face a little bit too much. He was pretty respectful in the beginning, but yeah, he gave up, and I, I was pretty close to getting the three crown, actually. Let's get into the second attack. And if you guys look at the top, this guy actually has a P.E.K.K.A. I never see these, especially at level 5. I've probably ran into two that were level 7, and they were using them. But besides that, I've never seen them at 6 or at 7. Maybe because they weren't using them, but I, I really don't know. So, yeah, look at he... I dropped all of those troops, and he was still able to get all the way through. So I had a different plan when he was going to drop the second one. So once he drops that P.E.K.K.A, I drop a giant and a witch on the right side just to do some damage on his building. Because I knew um, P.E.K.K.A's were a lot of elixir, but I didn't know necessarily how much they were. So I dropped that Tesla and then some skeletons, and they did amazing against him. Um, I guess there weren't many backup troops, but just with that single P.E.K.K.A rush, rush, rush <laughs> I was able to stop him pretty easily. And then right there... Um, he was actually able to just to like move past my troops and take out my building pretty easily. But then I go on the giant baby dragon, witch rush, and I'm able to take out his second building. And at this point, I'm just trying to like stop him from doing a big attack. I know he has to do so much damage to my building, and he's not going to do that as long as I play decent defense. And that's what I ended up doing. So. That ended up being a 2-1 to one win against a level 5 player. This attack just makes me laugh. Honestly, I don't even need to commentate. I will, but gosh. This guy has three different building, buildings that are like defenses. And he has three different buildings that are huts. So, I mean, there's really no way he can rush. But he can play defense. And also, he'll just kind of pick away at you. And I think that's how he tries to win. I don't really know how effective this is, but once he drops that Inferno, I'm just, I'm sitting over here trying not to drop any troops because that Inferno definitely scares me. Um, I end up dropping my baby dragon and my baby dragon does an awesome thing where it doesn't get targeted by that Inferno tower until after it takes out the Tesla, which was pretty awesome. So on this right side, I decide to go on a little rush and for some reason, my guys didn't go after that cannon, so I was pretty su successful at taking down at least a little bit of damage to that building. Actually, a lot. So, at this point, I knew I, I honestly knew I was going to win because there's no way he can defend against a rush. I mean, he can, but there's no way he can rush himself. And on that right side, once that building goes down, I knew it was over. I just had to play some defense. But look at how many huts he has down. He has five huts down. That's so insane. I, I, I've i never seen it. It was a very fun battle. And it's fun to see someone use a very strange troop composition. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.